hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to discuss about how to join three database tables in SAP to start with we'll go into the transaction code SE38 I'll create a program by name C join Going to click on create let us give a short description joining three tables and it's going to be executable type click on save hit on local objects and here the idea is we are going to join three tables with respect to Mara, namely Marcy, Mardi, and MAKD table. And in this particular recording, we are going to use inner join and for all entries for the entire recording. Let me start with The program let me say the line count as 120 so as you all know every program has got three sections in it one is the declarative section and one is the display section where we display all the results and one is the computation section so where you go with the implementation implementation of the logics we'll go with the declaration part so we go with the data and let me declare the internal table for Mara, like it underscore Mara type table of Mara. And now I'm going to declare the internal table for Marcy table. So the same way, Marcy type table of IT underscore Marty type table of Marty. And now, since I have declared three mandatory tables, I'm going to declare a work area called WA underscore Mara type Mara. When you're looking into this recording, you should have already known how to declare the work area and internal tables. In addition to that, we declare one more internal table for the table EKPO. I'll tell you the reason why down the session. So since the declarative part of the internal table and work area are over, we're going ahead and create a structure. As you all know, structure starts with type. So big enough tab best practice it with begin and end of at the very beginning. Now in this structure, I'm going to say that I need MATNR type MATNR. So the first MATNR is a is the field. The second MATNR is a data element. Works is the second field that I want to take. The third field I'm worried about is LGORT type LGORT. And MAKTX type M A K T X so apart from the work area and internal table that we have declared earlier always remember whenever you are declaring a structure 
you must mandatorily record and create a work area and internal table for that particular structure because structure elements cannot be computed without a work area and internal table. And corresponding internal table is wa underscore tab type ty underscore tab. So you can see ty underscore tab is nothing but the name of our structure. So all the declarative parts are over. Now we're going with the logical part. The first logic is I'm going to write a simple select statement called select start from ekpo into table it underscore ekpo where burks burks is nothing but a field i'm going to say is equal to this particular value now down the line i'm going to declare the headings for my display so you have declared four elements inside the structure. So what I'm going to show you here is like how to include the headings for the display. So let me say five. Material number is a heading. Just close that comma. Let us say 20. I'll show you what these numberings are in the output so that that would be really good for better understanding. storage location you understand why I'm using all these things at the end now we've written a simple write statement so now after this I'm going to say skip And I'm going to say U line at two of eighty. You'll understand all these terms in the output. I'll explain you once we come to the output. So as of now, don't worry about this. These are just statements that's going to perform some actions. So here comes the very very important part. So now I'm going to select Mara. We use a tilt operator, which you can find above the tab key, M-A-T-N-R, and Marcy tilt works, Madi tilt L-G-O-R-T, M-A-K-T tilt M A K T. KTX. So by this time you should have understood what are these things. These are nothing but the fields that we have declared inside the structure. From Mara inner join Marcy on Marcy tilt matnr equals mara tilt matnr so we have already seen in the previous lectures about when we are joining two tables we have given why the tilt operator is used and when you are joining two tables we should be making sure that it has got common key field in place so this is the check for the common key field 
and now again inner join M A R D on M A R D tilt operator M A T N R equals M A R D sorry M A R A tilt operator M A T N R so I guess like we can um, just bring it to the right level so that we can understand what exactly we mean here inner join MAKT tilt operator MATNR on MAKT tilt operator MATNR equals MARA tilt operator MATNR KT. So from this particular command you can see that we are joining three tables with a common key field called MATNR. So once we have written this particular thing, we're going to say into corresponding fields of table it underscore tat and now i'm going to use for all entries in it underscore ek bo now comes the where condition where mara tilt m t a r t H A L B. So this is my search criteria. I'm going to say and M A R A tilt M A T N R equals I T underscore E K P O hyphen M A T N R. KT tilt S P R A S which is nothing but language equal to E and M A R C tilt works equals three thousand and M A R T tilt L G O R T equals zero 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 one. So all these terms are nothing but the search terminologies. So you can see all these are the selection criteria that we have to plan. Now you're done with the logical part. Go with the display part of this with loop at it underscore tab into wa underscore tab the usual display methodology I'm going to say right so you have to make sure that you follow all the numberings that you have given First field twenty Let's give a space over here.
hyphen l g o r t save it and put a skip and u line at two of checked it so there is an error we have to first understand what is this error denoting let us find we have got an error in this select statement Now save it, check it for errors, there is one more issue in the display. Go ahead and activate this particular table. Look for the output. Here's your output. So U line at two of eight is nothing but underline in every second line. And 80 is nothing but the length of the line is 80. And if you see the first one, what we have declared 120 is till 120 characters, it allows the space. So this length should be 120 characters long. And remaining, if you see this one, 5, 20, 65, it's very simple. So from margin, five characters, 25, 65, one line, 75, one line. It's as simple as that. And now we have successfully created a join which joins three tables and displays a report. This can be further decorated by getting these selection fields via the selection field options like parameters or select options, the declarations. Uh, in that way, you can get inputs interactively from the user as well. If you want to know how to join two tables, please see the description below where you have a link for joining two tables. And if you want to join four tables, please see the description below for joining four tables in ABAP. There are some useful links for S4HANA. If you would like to contact me for any of the training requirements, please follow my below link. Thank you, see you in the next lecture.